research group that I'm a part of at Maastricht University, which is led by Professor De Helder. We investigate the perception of body movements. We look at how they can be analyzed and measured. We look at their neural basis. And most importantly, we look at how we can use this information to understand the actions and emotions of others, how humans do this. And we also look at social perception, both in real laboratory settings and in virtual environments. We're developing an analysis pipeline or methodology to look at which parts of a body movement are actually the most important for that movement. The idea then is that this information can be fed into GuestXR to guide it in understanding what's happening in the virtual environment and how the participants are feeling and how it can best intervene and understand what's happening. Um, we're also running EEG studies where we're looking at what parts of the brain are interested in social perception, interactions with multiple people, and as technology develops and these signals become more accessible to us, we can also feed this information into GuestXR as further guidance. So one factor we looked at recently in a study was gender. Um, specifically, we looked at how people perceive negative emotions and if there is a difference based on how what gender the perceiver has as well as the gender of the person portraying the negative emotion. Um, for instance, specifically, we found that males were more, much more likely to perceive threats when it was performed by another male rather than a female. Our experimental results are meant to serve as a guide for the ML agent. Specifically, it should inform it on what it should pay attention to and what information it should extract from the virtual environment to know how the meeting is going and when, how and if it should intervene. In the next phase of our research, we're going to start looking into social dynamics and both how the brain processes when we're interacting with others and when we're just observing the interactions of others. We're interested in how interacting with others affects our thinking, how we extract information from interactions with others, and also um, what if this information is actually relevant for the brain.